Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series of natural log of gamma of x. This is a very important uh, concept because uh, we can easily uh, solve uh, some integral sums by using Fourier series of natural log of gamma of x. Okay, let's begin. Mm. So, the general case, we know f of x is equal to a naught over 2 plus infinite sum 1 to infinity a n for a coefficient uh, cosine of 2 pi n x plus b n uh, sine of 2 pi n x okay then uh, we know a naught a naught is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to 1 f of x dx okay then uh, we know this is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to 1 uh, f of x we know natural log of gamma of x dx and uh, here this is equal to 2 times uh, integral from 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x uh, I saw in a previous video. I will end the link in the description. So we know the answer is natural log of 2 times pi over 2. This 2 get cancelled and this is equal to uh, natural log of 2 times pi. Okay, then uh, a n a n uh, we know 2 times integral from 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x times cosine of cosine of 2 pi n x dx well uh, let's evaluate this integral first uh, we can apply king's property i think you know integral from 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral from 0 to a f of a minus x dx so here natural log of gamma of 1 minus x times cosine of uh, 2 phi n uh, times 1 minus x we know also cosine of 2 pi nx dx now this is also equal to a n now uh, let's take sum so 2 times a n is equal to here 2 times uh, cosine of 2 phi nx is a common factor so we can write 2 times integral from 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x plus natural log of gamma of 1 minus x times cosine of 2 pi in x dx okay then we know uh, property of, according to property of natural log we can write this is equal to natural log of gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus 6 gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus 6 so we know uh, gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus 6 is equal to pi over sine of pi x this is Euler's reflection formula therefore we can write this is equal to uh, now these two get cancelled so a n is equal to integral from 0 to 1 here uh, sorry here we have natural log of uh, pi over pi over sine of pi x times cosine of 2 pi nx dx okay then uh, again we can apply the division rule of uh, natural log so here we have natural log of pi integral from 0 to 1 cosine of 2 pi nx dx minus integral from 0 to 1 cosine of 2 pi nx times natural log of sine of pi x dx and uh, then we know this is equal to 0 so we have uh, here uh, integral from 0 to 1 cosine of 2 pi nx natural log of sine of pi x uh, I am going to take uh, another u substitution so pi x is equal to t then pi times dx is equal to dt 
so we can write uh, the integral from uh, now limits we know uh, 0 to pi so 0 to pi 0 to pi uh, natural log of natural log of sine of t natural log of sine of t times cosine of cosine of 2 times n t uh, here t t uh, minus 1 over pi okay uh, then uh, we can interpret uh, this integral by uh, using IBP integration by parts method so uh, we can write now uh, this is equal to minus 1 over pi uh, as a fx function I am going to take natural log of sine of t uh, then uh, integration of cosine of 2 n t we know sine of 2 n t over 2 times n from 0 to pi minus integral from 0 to pi sine of 2 n t over 2 times n times the derivative of natural log of sine of t we know cosine of t over sine of t d t okay then uh, we know here 0 uh, if we apply boundaries phi and 0 here we will have 0 so uh, we have here minus here minus so 1 over pi uh, here 2n so 1 over 2n pi and uh, I think you can easily uh, evaluate this integral and this is equal to pi then pi get cancelled and 1 over 2 times n all right then bn so we know bn is equal to uh, 2 times integral from 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x times uh, sine of sine of 2 pi n x dx uh, in this video i skip this process because uh, i don't have uh, enough storage in my smartphone you know i recorded videos by using my uh, smartphone uh, but uh, in near future video i will um, solve this integral because uh, i evaluated this integral but uh, this is too lengthy okay now uh, this is equal to 2 times uh, gamma plus natural log of 2 pi n sorry 2 pi n over uh, 2 pi n these two uh, get cancelled and we have bn gamma plus natural log of 2 pi n over pi n okay now uh, we found is you know a n and b n then uh, you know uh, natural log of gamma of x natural log of gamma of x is equal to uh, a naught a naught we know natural log of 2 times pi so natural log of 2 times pi over 2 plus uh, then infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity then a n a n we know 1 over 2 n so 1 over 2 times n cosine of 2 pi n x uh, plus then b n b n we know uh, gamma plus natural log of 2 pi n over pi n uh, times sine of 2 pi n x sine of 2 pi sorry sine of 2 pi n x okay then uh, let us simplify a little bit uh, so we can write natural log of 2 times pi over 2 plus uh, here we can uh, write n is equal 1 to infinity cosine of 2 pi n x over 2 times n plus n is equal 1 to infinity gamma plus uh, natural log of 2 pi n over pi n times sine of 2 pi n x okay uh, let's take uh, this sum 
is equal to s1 and uh, the sum s2 now uh, we should evaluate s1 and s2 so s1 is equal to uh, we know here n is equal 1 to infinity cosine of 2 pi nx over 2 times n now uh, we know the Fourier series of natural log of sine of x natural log of sine of x uh, is equal to minus natural log of 2 uh, minus infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity cosine of 2nx over n uh, in a previous video we used uh, this formula uh, to evaluate the integral um, integral from 0 to pi over 3 pi over 3 natural log of sine of x okay then uh, here uh, if we um, take natural log of 2 uh, to left hand side we know here uh, according to property of natural log we can write natural log of 2 times sine of x then uh, we can replace x over 2 x by x over 2 so we can write natural log of 2 times sine of x over 2 x over 2 uh, is equal to uh, minus sum of n is equal 1 to infinity cosine of nx over n therefore here we can write s1 is equal to uh, minus 1 half so minus 1 over 2 natural log of 2 times sine of pi x uh, let's evaluate s2 uh, we know s2 is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity uh, gamma plus natural log of 2 pi n over pi n times sine of 2 pi n x uh, then uh, we can simplify a little bit n is equal 1 to infinity here according to property of natural log we can write gamma plus natural log of 2 pi plus natural log of n over pi n times sine of 2 pi n uh, then we can write gamma plus natural log of 2 pi over pi we can write outside of the sigma notation so uh, natural log of 2 pi plus gamma over pi infinite sum 1 to infinity uh, sine of 2 pi n over n uh, plus 1 over pi uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity natural log of n over n sine of 2 pi n x okay then uh, here we have n is equal 1 to infinity sine of 2 pi n over n so uh, i think uh, you can easily uh, calculate this sum because uh, n is equal 1 to infinity sine of nx over n this is equal to pi minus x over 2 in a few steps we can uh, prove this so now we can write uh, here gamma plus natural log of 2 times pi over pi and here we have uh, pi minus now uh, instead of x uh, 2 pi x so 2 pi x over 2 uh, plus 1 over pi sum of n is equal 1 to infinity natural log of n over n uh, sine of 2 pi n x okay then our uh, 4d series natural log of gamma of x is equal to uh, now we know uh, a naught over 2 natural log of 2 times pi over 2 and uh, here we have now s1 uh, s1 we know minus 1 half natural log of 2 pi uh, sorry natural log of uh, 2 times sin pi x 2 times sin of pi x uh, then here we have uh, plus 
gamma plus natural log of 2 times pi over pi times uh, pi minus 2 pi x over 2 plus 1 over pi uh, infinite sum 1 to infinity natural log of n over n sine of 2 pi n x sine of 2 pi n x okay then uh, we can uh, simplify so here natural log of 2 pi over 2 uh, then uh, we can simplify this uh, here we know this pi get cancelled and if we multiply this we have plus uh, gamma over 2 gamma over 2 minus 2 times gamma of x over 2 plus natural log of 2 pi over 2 minus x times natural log of 2 times pi and here we have minus 1 half natural log of uh, 2 times sine of pi x then here plus 1 over pi n is equal 1 to infinity natural log of n over n sine of 2 pi n x okay then uh, here we can simplify natural log of 2 pi over 2 2 pi over 2 so uh, and also we can take natural log of 2 pi as a common factor so natural log of 2 pi times 1 minus x plus then here gamma times 1 half minus x then here minus 1 half natural log of 2 times sine of pi x then 1 over pi plus 1 over pi a sum of n is equal 1 to infinity natural log of n over n sine of 2 pi n x okay we are done this is the Fourier series of natural log of gamma of x if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching